good to get together with friends and family, uh, visitors. My name is Delva King. I'm a graduate of University of North Texas and quite honored to be here tonight to be your mistress of ceremony. So I will be the Oprah Winfrey of the evening for you. <laughs> And I, I'm sure that all of our graduates, former students from University of North Texas, when you got out of your car this evening, um, you, you had to touch your heart <coughs> because you had some feelings that were overwhelming. Your heart was racing. It always feels so good to come to this university. Would you agree? <laughs> University of North Texas means a lot to me, and I can remember 30 years ago, don't tell anybody, <laughs> over 30 years ago, my family dropped me off here from Houston, Texas, and I didn't know what I was getting into, but three years later, I went back home with a BA degree in psychology. Uh, a year later, I, I married my college sweetheart, who I met here, uh, Johnny, and I have a lifelong a uh, list of friends that I made here at this university. So it means so much to me to be back here, and I'm sure you've got so many memories. When you walk down on the campus, around the campus, um, even though there are so many new buildings, so many wonderful new buildings uh, than there were 30 years ago, <laughs> there are still some things here that kind of bring back memory. It may be Maple Hall or, or Bruce Hall, uh, my dorm is no longer around qu the quads, but or or it may be the education. To <laughs> As it turned out, my friends were right. North Texas was fun. However, it provided me with a great education. The next uh, recipient of a Distinguished Alumnus Award, a graduate of the class of 1952, I, I think is recognized throughout this region and probably through the state, at least, if not beyond the state, for his leadership in business and in education. In business, he's the founder and uh, CEO and now the chairman of the board of Southwest Securities. Uh, in uh, which has developed into uh, an enormously successful enterprise in education. Uh, and this has been voluntary work on his part. Uh, he uh, made his mark first in the Garland School District as a member of its board, and then went on to work with the Dallas Community College District Board for some 18, 19 years, where he was, that's where I had heard about him. In fact, I tell the story that I knew his name because I'd seen it on the roster of board members at DCCD, never appreciated, realized that he was an alum of this university. And finally, so, uh, one of our advancement people brought that fact to my attention not too long ago. And uh, we got together, made contact, and uh, I found an individual who's turned out to be a tremendous source of support to this institution. Uh, he really has gotten involved to include service on our foundation board, where his uh, tremendous financial experience, of course, is a great asset but also from the viewpoint of his commitment to education, because he's very committed to the educational goals of this institution. He demonstrated that by his leadership in an area of, I think, great significance to the university, but also, I think, to the region, the state, and that's from the viewpoint of ensuring a continuing supply of leaders for the community colleges of this state. I'm sure everyone here recognizes the importance of the community college system in Texas, what it is continues to mean and will continue to mean for uh, years to come in uh, from the viewpoint of the education, the development of future students. And uh, he saw the need for and recognized the value of the proposal that was made uh, uh, for a center here that would enhance what we've been doing in terms of preparing community college leaders in our College of Education. And that led to the creation of the Bill J. Priest Center for Community College Education. And it has started to come along very well. It's only recently developed 
And uh, this gentleman uh, is, was the prime mover financially, but also just more than finances, he was putting to, uh, into, uh, into bear here, uh, bringing to bear uh, his extraordinary background and commitment and education along with his great business sense. Indeed, I'd like to pause for a moment and make a point that we have in the audience tonight three generations of leaders in the Dallas Community College District. Uh, the alums here, many of the alums here, probably uh, came to North Texas through that community college district system uh, and continue to do so in terms of students coming in today. And uh, we have an ex extremely effective, close working relationship with the, uh, the leaders of, of that uh, district. But I'd like to call your attention to the presence tonight of the founding uh, chancellor, if you will, of that district, a man who has made an enormous impact in Dallas generally, but certainly on uh, higher education in this area. And uh, let me in, uh, ask you to uh, help me recognize Bill Priest, who's here tonight with his wife, Jan. The next rounds of leadership is represented tonight by uh, uh, a gentleman, I think, whose name is well known to all of you. He served for an extended period as chancellor of that district, then became president for a period of the Citizens Council of Dallas. And that's John LaCroix, who's here with his wife, Nancy. <laughs> and a gentleman who's uh, become an especially close colleague and uh, co-worker. In fact, we commented tonight, this is the fourth time this week we've been together. <laughs> And because the various projects we get involved in of mutual interest and benefit, hopefully, to our institutions. And uh, let me present to you uh, the current chancellor of the district, Bill Winrick, and his wife, Martha. <laughs> so, when you think about this partnership that uh, this uh, honoree has uh, enhanced uh, enormously, and the contribution he's made to an activity that will benefit generations to come. Uh, I know you'll join me in strongly recognizing Don Buholtz. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hurley. I want, I'd like to start off by uh, thanking those individuals who nominated me for this uh, Distinguished Alumni Award. I'm, I am truly grateful. I would like to also thank Delva King and her committee for, for selecting me. I, I really was pleased to learn that uh, they had a whole long list of, of, of nominees. I really thought they were kind of down at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Yeah, but anyhow, I'm, I am glad to know that uh, that you had you had others to consider. I also want to thank uh, my friends who uh, who came tonight to, from Southwest Securities and also from the, from the community college who uh, were just recognized by Al. I want to thank you for that, Al. The uh, I, I arrived at North Texas as a, as a student a, a little different route than the than the typical. Uh, student that finishes high school and goes on and goes to college. When I was uh, 17 years old, I quit high school and, uh, and joined the Air Force. I was in 1946, and at that time they were still giving uh, a GI Bill of Rights to, uh, to veterans, so, uh, so I, my three years in the, in the service uh, earned me the right to go, to go to college, which I didn't really plan to do. When I, when I got out of uh, the service, I went back to my home of Garland and went to work for Kraft Foods. And uh, I was working on a production line where we, where we were making mayonnaise. And they, in this big clean room on one side of the wall, they had a, all this equipment where they mixed it up. They put it into bottles and sealed the bottles and they were put on a con conveyor belt that came through a wall. And two women and I were on the outside of that wall well, with that mayonnaise coming down the conveyor belt, they put the, the mayonnaise in, in boxes. When the boxes got full, I took them off of the conveyor belt and set them over on a, on a pallet and uh, did that for eight hours a day. 
for for about two or three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, de- decided there must be uh, something better in life than, uh, than 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 putting that mayonnaise over on that palate. So so I came to North Texas and uh, went to the uh, placement office and they. They gave me some tests and, and counseled me on, a, on, on what I should major in and what my aptitudes were. And, and they ag- agreed to take me uh, if I would take some remedial uh, uh, math and English courses for, in, 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 for my first semester and pass them. I had not only take them, but I had to pass. <laughs> but, uh, which I did. Uh, and went on to get my Bachelor of Business Administration degree, and and uh, and I got to say that uh, the the education I got here at at North Texas uh, really helped me uh, obviously uh, uh, accomplish what little I've been able to do uh, after grad. I'll always be grateful to the to the people here at North Texas. Uh, I'm grateful to Kraft Foods for sending me up here, <laughs> but, but I'm I am really grateful to the. Uh, to the school for the for the education and the help they were and, and, and launched me on my career. I want to I want to thank you.